Welcome back to another unfortunate weekly update. This week, Rockstar decided to bless us with a nerfed Kyo Perico heist where almost every primary or secondary target will be decreased by a certain percentage. It's only fitting that right after GTA's 10-year anniversary that Rockstar takes away some of the best money-making methods in the game. And I couldn't be more pissed about their decisions. After all, players have fallen in love with the Kyo Perico heist and look forward to seeing it increase in value over time. But not this week, unfortunately. But before I share these details with you, I need you to smash that subscribe button. As you can see in the chart above, as presented by TGG in his latest video, Rockstar is decreasing the values of almost every primary target in the heist. The only three primary targets that are going to stay the same are the Pink Diamond, the Panther Statue, and the Madrazo Files. The Pink Diamond will be staying at $1.3 million, the Panther Statue will be staying at $1.9 million, and the Madrazo Files will be staying at $1.1 million. Everything else you see on the screen regarding your primary targets has been reduced by 30%. Just take a look at it. It's pretty bad. The Tequila is reduced from 900,000 to 630,000, the Ruby Necklace is reduced from 1 million to 700,000, and the bearer bonds are reduced from 1.1 million to 770,000. They are even reducing the amount you can earn from El Rubio safe by 60%. Instead of getting anywhere between 50,000 and 99,000, Rockstar reduced the minimum to 20,000. You can still hope to get the maximum of 99,000, but the minimum was decreased by 60%. Even the setup fee for starting the heist is increasing. So instead of starting the heist for $25,000, you have to start the heist for $100,000. It's almost like they are trying to get you to shift your focus to other aspects of the game instead of just the Kyo Perico heist. If you look at your secondary targets in the chart above, the cash, artwork, weed, and cocaine are decreasing by 10%. However, the gold is staying the same. The gold is staying the same probably because Rockstar is trying to encourage players to play the heist with multiple players instead of doing it in solo mode. And the only chances you get of getting the gold is either by doing glitches or coming to play with two or more players. The chances of getting cocaine on the island is getting reduced from 40% to 30% in all locations if you are doing the heist in solo mode. However, if you are doing the heist with two or more players, the chances of getting cocaine on the island increases to 60%. It's almost like Rockstar is trying to get players to play the heist with friends and possibly focus your attention on other aspects of the game like Dr. Dre missions, Arena Wars, Auto Shop missions, or anything else except for Kyo Perico. So that begs the question everyone is asking. Is the Kyo Perico heist still worth it? Or should you shift your attention to other things in GTA Online? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. I hope you guys found this video informative and educational and make sure to like and subscribe for more Kyle Perico videos. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.